Hey guys, welcome back to DMAC Customs. So if it's your first time here, welcome to DMAC Customs. Vacuum wipers, early shiv vacuum wipers. I don't want them in my early shiv, so I'm going to convert it to um, 12 volt two speed wipers with a marine wiper motor. One of these things here, but without the big box around it. So let's, uh, let's do it. Brief background on this, I, I just didn't want to have vacuum wiper motors, so I converted the truck to um, electric 12 volt wiper motors as well, because the vacuum ones just kind of went like they were just having a little seizure and they didn't really do a hell of a lot. So I'm going to get rid of them. I was doing a bit of research online, see what other people have done with uh, these early 50s chevs and stuff with um, electric motors, and there's a few companies like Newport and I think it's Wipe something wipers, anyway, but they, they have sell a bolt-in alternative which looks really good um, but uh, kind of like priced me out of the bracket being here in New Zealand by the time I got it here it would cost me a lot of money um, so I'll probably do this wrong a few times and it'll cost me the same amount of money but that's, that's how we roll I was looking at different junkyard sort of options you know stuff from pick apart and things like that and there's lots of people you know use single speed rear hatch wiper motors and stuff but I want two speeds. I've only got one speed in the truck and it's a bit of a pain. It would be really cool to have intermittent as well because we do drive them in the rain sometimes and I was looking for some stuff in a some auto electrical stuff in uh, this marine shop we've got locally and uh, I noticed they had wiper motors ages ago and I did look at them for the truck. The truck's got overhead wipers whereas it's got under dash wiper motors set up so I had a closer look while we were in lockdown uh, online and stuff and and found that they had them in stock locally so now that we're out of lockdown I went and bought one of these units but I didn't actually want the one that has this big box around it because the one that I wanted was just like that with a little um, inch and a half shaft and you can buy them that it's just this bit without the big box around it but they didn't have any in stock other than the big like two inch long shaft and that was too long for what I want to do so I'm going to scrap this plastic box and just use the wiper mechanism itself and these are clockable so they clock from I think it's 80, um, 80 degrees, 83 degrees sweep to 120 so it's pretty easy to do just take this little cover off and just move the thing the little arm thing to the 120 hole and put it back on it's real straightforward you don't need me to show you that um, but yeah so my plan is to, to relocate this arm from the old wiper motor onto onto there because these wipers um, just sweep back and forth whereas a lot of the the newer sort of wiper motors they just go round and round and round whereas I need one that the gearbox that can go back and forth and I've tested this on a, on a battery and it just goes back and forth. So we have already cut that off, just ground down the little um, bent over shaft and popped it off the vacuum wiper. And yeah, so I'll bring you in for a closer look to show you what my plan is. And then I'm going to take this apart and make up brackets and stuff to hold it all in place and see if it works. Hopefully it does because I've got some skin in the game already. So, Hey, welcome back. That was quick, hey. So here's my plan. I'm going to weld this this little shaft, this little doohickey, side to side doohickey, onto a nut that I have drilled out to slide over the top of that. And then I'm going to drill into the sides of the nut and put a couple of little grub screws in to be able to lock it in place. And then when I've figured out where I want it to park, I'll take it back off and I'll drill some dimples into this brass spliny bit and that'll locate it. Hopefully that's going to be strong enough, it should be, I mean none of this stuff here looks terribly strong so as long as I've got all the wiper stuff all lubricated and whatnot, it should be all good. So that's my plan, I'm going to take this off, I might just cut this section here out for now, maybe 
later on just solder a plug and stuff onto here but then I've got to make up a, a plate to mount this so I get everything in the same place because I'm going to use the same mounting spots to mount uh, sort of up under the dash to mount from these points would have been mounted on these points here so I'm going to have to make a plate with mounting points around here somewhere so it's in the same place ish the old wiper vacuum wiper mounts up on these two brackets here or this single bracket on these sort of slotted holes here so I want to be able to mount my new mechanism motor holder upper thing onto there and then it'll hook up onto the old arms that go back and forth like that and it'll be like just be like me real good I want to get this I want to get uh, this all kind of up in place because I've got some parts coming over on the, they're on the water at the moment hopefully heater and such and things like that for other under the dash sort of stuff so I want to be able to work out all my uh, mounting bracketry and all that before I take the body off the chassis so then I can figure out what holes will have to be welded up on the on the firewall hopefully I only have to have the body off once maybe twice ideally once um, so I want to kind of nut out all this stuff, kind of mock the whole car together and then uh, pull it all apart and finish welding everything up and smooth it out and paint it and thing, things like that, paint all the parts. But today's mission, wiper motor, bracketry, mounting up stuff. So let's get on to it. Whoop, oh, tangled up. couple of false starts on the old templating and arts and crafts session um, but I think I've kind of got a somewhat of a plan I, I thought I was going to be able to mount this little electric wiper motor sort of straight across sort of thing like that but I'm not going to have to sit it on a bit of a, an angle and then that'll sort of sit in something like that it's, this is just rough mind you so so I can mount this at the bottom as well so hopefully it won't interfere with heaters and things like that but that's where we're up to I'm going to tighten this template up a bit and then maybe start trying to cut it out of some steel and fold some stuff up and then it's pretty tricky trying to hold it up under the dash and it's all flopping around all over the place so I'll, I'm going to try that Hopefully, we might get somewhere with that. Just got to work out my measurements and that a bit more accurately again. Yeah, okay. Alrighty, I think I have a plan. I think this is my plan. I've got to add a couple of bits on here yet. I'm going to put a little fold out here and a little fold return. It's got to be squared up. Essentially, that's it. So that'll sort of hold my 
wiper motor in the desired place. I'll probably cut those wires and stuff off and solder on a plug or something later on, but at this stage I'll leave it there. So I'm going to make this now. That'll be the next step in the uh, equation of making a bracket to hold a wiper motor for a 51 chef choice. Right, we're going to find some steel. <laughs> So what I might do next is try and do my folds just to make sure I can actually do them before I spend too much time tidying this up and then I can trim out that piece hopefully and then drill the holes and see whether it's even going to work. I suppose I should really think about this before I um, go and put the folds in the wrong places. But that one's got to come up that way. Oop, what's going on here? That one's got to go that way, that one's got to go that way, that one's got to go that way, that one's got to go back that way, and that way, and that stays straight. And then that gets cut off. So, I really should mark, put some marks on the back. I need a pen. Back again, got the marks on the back for the for the folds I want to do on there. Oh, let's see if I didn't draw the line on there, but that's alright. And then I'll have to flatten that out of it. And that, I oh, should have probably done that one first, but I'll figure out what I'm doing first. I might just go and grab a hammer, flatten that bit, but... I'm going to, have to do the rest of them in the vise because I can't get to that one because of that. Can't get to those ones because of all sorts of other reasons. So into the vise. Oh, jeez. Right, so that's all my folds folded in, I guess. This one's a little bit on the... Actually, I need to drill that hole before I can really um, test fit anything. Maybe trim that little bit there off. That little bit, don't need that. I'll do that.
Okay, so that, that's uh, kind of how it's going to go, I think. Still got to mark holes in that to mount up into the um, bit under the dash up here ish. So I'm going to have enough. Should be enough, eh? They don't need heaps of structural support. That folds a bit off, so I might just kick that back a bit and squeeze it up. Don't know how I managed to cock that up. Stranger things have happened. But anyway, I'm going to go have a look up under the dash and see how this is going to fit. Believe it or not, it's actually looking quite promising. So I'm going to move on to the next step and just before I again start finishing this up and might round off some corners and make it less likely to scratch yourself up or myself more importantly. Either before I mark all these other holes and whatnot, I'll just get this fit a little bit better and then I might weld that nut on and drill those grub screw holes and stuff for a little wiggly arm and then we'll be able to kind of like bolt it up in place and maybe do a bit of a bit of a test run. Remember to hook up some wires to it before I do that. Hmm, yeah, but a few little adjustments. Pardon me. A few little adjustments to do and then yeah, we'll weld that nut onto that little army thing and not army as in soldiers, army as in um e thing. Ready, ready next step. I'll probably trim back some more of that actually but I'll mark the bits I'm going to trim up. But yeah, right, on to the button that up a bit. Well, that nut on. Just a little tip there guys, when you're tapping a thread with, oh let me put this away, when you're tapping a thread into something, whether you're re-tapping something or tapping a piece of steel or whatever, I always find kind of wind it in a bit, wind it back a little bit, maybe wind it with bigger stuff, I tend to wind right back out and wind back in, wind it out, wind it in, seems to help um, clear the debris out of the tap, because you uh, can bind it up and snap them, bun it done that before. Just a bit of little tip, don't know the science behind it or any of that, but just thought it might help. Carry on. screws were giving me a little bit of a fight um, I'll replace them at a late later stage I managed to strip one of them as well as drop everything four times don't really know why that happened yeah so essentially that's my bracket now kind of fabricated and yeah see the old rib nuts come back into play yeah they're a great little tool I should put little rib nuts in here but I haven't got any fasteners I've got some little rib nuts but I haven't got any fasteners that could go into them at this stage so I'll just chuck those plastic screws through there for now, tighten that into place and see here's my little arm thing that the factory part welded onto the nut, not too pretty but it's tucked up under the dash so that's just going to sit on that shaft like that and I'll just, once I figure out where my part positions are, I'll um, be able to tighten up these little grub screws, mark mark where they need to be um, and then I can take this out and drill a little little divot thing in there and chuck some Loctite on when it's in final assembly and stuff like that that just will pinch up like that in theory well, might work um, but yeah, right, I'm going to go and stick this up under the dash and then I'll come back and get you and you can have a look and see what you think.
Okay, success. Super, super happy with super success. Sunday traffic. Yeah, it works, fits, hooks up there quite nicely, as I'll show you in just a sec. Um, hooked up a, a battery to just one of the speeds, I, I think it's the slow speed. One, I've got a switch coming um, with some other stuff from Summit Racing, so I can't actually wire up a switch to it properly to see if the park and everything works. I can't see why it wouldn't, uh, as long as I can wire it properly. I've done it before, but it's we'll figure it out anyway. So, yeah, let's have a look up under here. You can see it's just sort of bolted up to the original sort of mounts up, up there and um, my little adaption to the this, this thing seems to have worked and uh, I'll oh, sorry and yeah so it hooked up the arms and the little clippy thing and whatnot and uh, yeah she goes so I'll just kind of try and put this camera somewhere so I can get going and so you can see it because I've got to hold the wires, you see. Maybe, hang on. Give us a sec. Battery hooked up. That should be about parked there, I think. All going correctly. When we get it switch, I'll wire up all the switch in that and test it all on the switch properly and, and then I'll um, pull it all out. Now that that's in there, I've got a heater coming so I can run all my ducting around around the, uh, the old heater. Okay, so if you've seen any of these videos on the Area 51 before, you'll you'll know that I bought this car as a unfinished project. The biggest issue when you buy a project that someone else has started and they've just blown the whole thing apart, and the, the, you, if you're lucky, you'll get a box of nuts and bolts and clips and stuff. This little wiper motor exercise, I was quite excited because the little spring clip was there for the for the arm and that. You know, this little little clip thing there that was there and I was like yeah good on them they taped that onto the the mechanism stuff but I went to put the wiper gearbox things up here put these in this morning and discovered that the uh I didn't have the hardware to fit them um the, there's a little saddle clamp that goes on up underneath I'll try and show you this this little sucker here hopefully there's enough light that thing there they were nowhere to be found in all the all the boxes and stuff. So I, before I started doing this wiper thing, I quickly made up those little saddle clamps. One of them I made a little bit short, so it's not bolting up tight, but easy enough to remake. It's just a bit of three mil or eighth inch flat bar, 15 mil flat bar or half inch, three quarters of an inch or something like that. I don't know, it's only about that wide. Yeah, just quickly sort of folded them up, drilled a hole, cut the angles on it and wake them up there so I could clamp those things in place. Um, there is a rubber seal that goes underneath these which will give it a little bit more cush as well so hopefully I've got that little rubber seal. I've got remnants of one or I did have when I started this morning. I've probably knocked it all off now but yeah so I might have to remake those clamps when we come to do the final fit up to make sure they, they fit tight. At the moment there I've cut them a little bit short I think. I just maybe I could put a little couple of little bits of weld or something on there just to build them up but it's probably just as easy to make whole new ones in reality reality but yeah just on the little side note there about buying projects that someone else has started you got to try and figure out how these things go back together what's missing usually lots this is the second one i've bought uh unfinished project over the years i bought a 
an old Holden Monaro that someone had pulled apart and I got a box of um, clips, springs, screws, bolts, nuts, all sorts of crap in there. I just had to try and make sense of it. Fortunately, a really simple car, so it wasn't that hard. Whereas this one, there's all sorts of other little weird little clips and bloody screws and crap that hold things together, which I don't have a clue where they come from or what's missing, but I'm not doing a factory restoration either, so it's not that important. Um, but little things like that where I are use, or I am using factory parts, it would have been good to have the, the factory clips that hold clamps that hold it on there because if you have to order that stuff in from overseas it's sort of it gets really expensive really really fast fortunately it's a simple that's a simple little example of something that was missing so i was able to just put something in the old shock press in my custom made um bending apparati apparatus bending apparatus folding brake metal squishing device that thing over there that and was able to just yeah quickly fold up some stuff took me about 15 minutes to make two of them wipers joyous joyous occasion check it out well guys i'll leave it at that for for this exciting episode of the area 51 update thanks again for watching if you haven't subscribed hit the button and till next time Take it easy. Don't know what I'm going to do next. I'm waiting on a whole bunch of parts. So once they arrived, I'll have I'll have uh, some more figuring out to do and things like that. I've got some. Actually, I might. What I might be doing next is the run up tubes for the heater um, intake. So well, I'm just going to have them as cold air intakes into the cabin of the car. They're not going to be having the heater core and that running through them anymore. So they're just going to be just air intakes for cold air stuff just waiting on the parts it's the steel it's um it's coming yeah so till next time take it easy peace